Hello, this is the Try Line Podcast. I'm your host, Bo. This is me, uh, co-host, Denny. Hey, mate. What's going on? Not a lot, mate. Looking forward to the uh, games this weekend. Uh, what are we going to talk about today? Uh, so today, we've heard some news. Well, not today, but we've heard news that um, Ponga could possibly miss Origin. Oh, bruh. Um, bruh. Yeah. So not good news for Queensland fans, but who do you think could replace him? Well... I don't think anyone could replace Ponga, but I think someone that could do a job there. I like I like Brimson, Brimson to um, fill in there for Ponga. Ponga's a huge out for Queensland. He's he's very creative and he's silky at the back and he's a, he's a game breaker. But Brimson had a good back end of uh, the season and if he can stay fit, he's um he's a game breaker as well. I also like a little bit um, out of the box option because Wayne Bennett's coaching this year, so he's a bit of an out of the box kind of cat. Maybe Munster at fullback, Hunt at six, and uh, Harry Grant at nine has a little bit of a smoky. Munster played a lot of fullback for Melbourne, so you never know. But Brimson is the choice. And then if he can't get the job done in game one, Val's back in game two anyway. So it doesn't really matter that much. But maybe Munster, maybe Brimson. I just want to um, say, if you're watching this on YouTube as well, remember to like, subscribe. It really helps us out. It really means a lot. Um, check out our Twitter at TryLineYT. Check out our uh, TikTok at Tryline Podcast. And, yeah, just um, let us know if there's anything you like, don't like, and we'll be sure to get back to you. All right. There's only six teams left. Six teams left in the 2020 season. Um, we're going to say who we think will win the comp. So... We'll probably be wrong. So whoever we pick, do not get on to win the comp because that's about how it goes at this podcast. I'm going to say, I reckon the Panthers. The Panthers have a bit of an aura around them at the moment and they're playing They're playing really well. It'll take a really special effort to beat them. But I do think there's one team that can beat anyone if they play to their full potential and it's South. I think South can beat anyone on their day, but they're just a bit too inconsistent, I think, to win the comp. So I'm going to say the Panthers. Nice, nice. I think the Panthers can win as well. Um, two other teams I think could win it are the Storm and the Roosters. I don't think the Bunnies will be able to just because they're bound to have an off, off night, yeah. one, one of these games. Um, but you look at the Roosters and the and the Storm's bench, I mean, they're really good, really deep. So, pardon me, those are the other two teams apart from uh, Penrith. I think Panthers, we both agree, Panthers are the other team to beat right now, though. For sure. hundred percent. hundred percent. Yeah. All right. Let's get into the first, uh, first final. Here's the do or die final roosters Raiders. That'll be on Friday at the SCG. Uh, Jake friend and Sonny Bill are back for the roosters, which is um, huge for them, especially Jake friend, uh, Freddie Lussick and Nat butcher will make way for them. The Raiders are unchanged. So they're coming in with the same team as they played out last week. Um, I think it's going to be so close. I think it's going to be really close, but I'm going to pick the Raiders only because I think they'll play their grand final this week. I think they'll play their best game, and then I don't think I don't think they'll be able to back it up next week. I think they're gonna they're gonna absolutely leave everything out there, and I think on the back of Jack White and they'll get it done. And I'm going to pick the score twenty two sixteen Raiders. Oh wow, the exact score, mate. Yeah. Well, um, I think this will be, not, yeah, as you said, a good game. Uh, if the start, if the Raiders, sorry, if the Raiders start off like they did last week, I think they could could get blown out of the park. They start off really yeah. slowly, as where the Roosters, on the other hand, they came out of the gates on fire. They came out and scored what ten quick points or something like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the Raiders, if they can start well and keep it competitive in that first half, we know they can come out in the second half and really, really put it on teams. Um, but I will be tipping the Raiders as well for an upset. Yeah, I, I just think, think they'll be, they'll do a good job this week, I think. I think they have to, um, they have to hit the ground running though. Like you said, they, no more of these slow starts. That ends this week. Like they need to be up for it from the get-go. That, and I think they will be, but they can't give, uh, they can't give the Roosters a lead because they're a bit harder to peg back than the Sharks. Like, And especially in a do or do final, like, with Kiri there, I think they if they get their tails up, they might go on with it. But I think the Raiders will start well and it'll be close. And then I think they'll just get the better room in the second half. Yeah, all right. Well, um, anyway, on to, the, on to Saturday. We've got a couple of games in the NRLW again. 
Um, so the first game, we've got the Warriors versus the Roosters. Um, there has been a few changes for the for the Roosters' side. Their fullback, Vet Welsh, I hope I've pronounced that correctly. Uh, she's replaced by Charlotte Kaslick. She played 5'8 last week. Um, Waller is captain Grace Hamilton. She's been named on the bench. She replaces Caitlin Phillips, who suffered a head knock last week. Um, what do you think of the uh, Charlotte Kaslick move to fullback? I, I love it. I think um, with her... Rugby sevens background. I think she's um, she's a ball runner, and she. I think she'll find a lot of space this weekend. I've actually I've tipped the Roosters uh, in the first game, and I think on the back of Kaslik, I think they'll be winning again. Mm, nice. Um, yeah, I think the same thing. Yeah. Bloody bit more space to, to move around, and with rugby sevens, there is a lot of room. Yeah. Um, Anyway, the Warriors, they've got almost the same lineup, 1 through 13, although the winger, Hilda Peters, she swapped with uh, back row Madison Bartlett. Um, they did swap positions last week as well, mid-game. Um, so, I mean, obviously it worked a little bit. Yeah. Um, Chantel Stowers, she's come on for Tegan Hartigan in the centres. And... Um, so a host of changes for the Warriors. I, I, yeah. I think the Roosters will be too good for them. I think, um, I think they're just in a different class and... At the moment, yeah, yeah, I think it should be a like fairly decent game, but I'll I'll be tipping the Roosters. And the um, second game, we've got the Dragons versus the Broncos. So the Broncos are unchanged from one through to sixteen. Um, although Tyler Birch drops out of the seventeen for Shanae. I don't even know her last name, Sisulka or something like that. <laughs> it's bloody a weird one. Um, but for the Dragons. They're completely unchanged, the full 17. Although Ellie Johnson was named to start last week, she ended up coming off the bench. Um, she's been named to start this week again. Um, so the, I'll, I think I'll tip the, the uh, Dragons this one. Um, they started a bit slowly last week. Uh, maybe another week together might have, I don't know, got a bit more chemistry in there. Yeah, I'm going to go I'm gonna go against that. I'm going to go the Broncos on the back of uh, Tamika Upton again. I think she scored a first half hat trick last week. So I think she'll be bouncing into this week. I expect her to uh, play well again. I also heard that there's a bit of an injury uh, cloud around their halfback, the Dragons, um, that Maddie Sutton, she's a gun. She's, uh, yeah. I think she's the Australian halfback. So there's a little bit, uh, she she copped a knock last week. So especially if she drops out, I think, um, I think the Broncos will be winning. I think this will be a great game, though. I'm excited to watch that. That's at 4 p.m. on Saturday, so that's a huge game. Another big game, the last of the NRL semifinals, um, the Rabbitohs and the Eels. That's at Bank West at 8 o'clock. Now, the Eels, they're, they're missing Sebo and Nia Kore. Uh, Ferguson's only 50-50 chance to play. Um, he's re-aggravated a knee issue. Um, they've been training with and without him this week, so... So we don't know. We don't know whether he's going to play or not. Uh, the Rabbitohs are unchanged. Davian Cook copped a bit of a knock uh, late in the game last week, but um, he ended up finishing the game, so he should be right. I really like the Rabbits here. Um, I think they'll have too many points for the Eels. I think the Eels will start with a lot of energy and a lot of enthusiasm, but they'll fall away when their bench gets on. I think I think their bench is too skinny there. Um, I think the Rabbitohs left side attack will just absolutely carve up the Eels. Um, I see it being close early, but then the Eels run away with it. Now, I'm not going to ask you who you're going to tip. I'm going to let you be biased. I'm going to let you tip your Eels. I know you love them. So I'll let you go the Eels. Tell me why and how they can win. Alrighty. Uh, right. So I'm just going to touch on the bench real quickly uh, before I get into that. Um, so I, you said it was a bit skinny. Uh, they've picked Kane Evans again. I think he's absolutely horrendous. Um, <laughs> he, he bloody tries to offload the ball every single time. Yeah. He runs, he, he, he takes a hit up, like literally off the kickoff last week. Sorry, I'm getting into a bit of a rant. Uh, he bloody offloads the ball, first tackle. Yeah. But anyway. Guys, anyway, now, uh, now you're hearing what I go through every weekend when the, <laughs> when the Eels play. When Kane Evans gets on the field, my phone gets blown up for the next 15 minutes. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Kane Evans. Anyway, anyway. Um, Bloody, I think Parramatta, as you said, they'll, they'll start off really well. Um, the only way Parramatta can win is if the Bunnies lose. Like, Yeah, yeah they, if the Bunnies beat yeah, themselves. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Um, 
because when they hold the ball, it's like, as you said, they can beat anyone. They're a really good side. Um, and attacking that left edge or that right edge of Parramatta's defence where Parramatta have, have been, have had issues. Have, yeah, they've had issues, yeah. yeah. Um, I think it's, especially if Ferguson's out, that's another change on that edge. I just, I don't think they got, I think Cody Walker's just in that good a form at the moment. If they can hold the ball long enough, they'll be good enough. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, the only way the Parramatta can win is if, the Rabbitohs play that trash. Yeah. But uh, anyway, we've got a bit of uh, mail from Mick's Mailbag on Facebook. Um, he reckons Souths to win and Alex Johnston and Cody Walker anytime. Um, that'll get you about four bucks. Uh, so good luck, punters. Yeah, don't forget to um, check uh, Mick out on Facebook, uh, at Mick's Mailbag on Facebook. Um, really quality tips on there, guys. I think... I think we're hitting about 85% on the uh, on the tips he gives the podcast. So be sure to check it out. And uh, I think Denny's wearing one of the hats. I am, yeah. Make sure you get a hat. What is this? Thanks, punters. Where's the camera? There you go. Thanks, punters. Make sure you get a hat. They're good. Good quality. <laughs> All right. That's um, that's it for this week, guys. Um, I really hope you enjoy the whole uh, weekend and enjoy the games. I think they're going to be uh, four great games. And I'm um, really looking forward to see who can go through to those prelim finals. Everyone says the prelims harder to win than the grand final. So enjoy it. We'll be back here on Monday and um, enjoy your dinner, guys.